Welcome back to the Daily Morning Gossip Feeds on Fiddler Channel, with me as editor Olivia. Today, let's take a look at some notable celeb news in the past 24 hours. Thank you for always supporting and accompanying us. Come to the following hot news. The first news. Rap legend Grand Daddy IU dies at 54. The second news. Ronnie Turner's cause of death revealed. And the last news. Jennifer Coolidge sets the record straight on sleeping with 200 men, after American Pie. Rapper, producer and media host Grand Daddy IU has died suddenly. The 54-year-old hip-hop legend passed away, for unknown reasons at the time this report was published. Several sources confirm the passing with all hip-hop and the news spread quickly. DJ Chuck Chillout, who was a friend of the rapper, helped break the news to the masses on his Facebook account. They were hanging out recently in late November. Grand Daddy IU was an MC that emerged in the late 80s to become one of the leading artists on iconic label Cold Chillin' Records. The late Biz Markey played an instrumental role in his signing after he received Grand Daddy IU's demo tape from his peer's brother. IU's debut album, Smooth Assassin, produced a pair of hit records. Something New, his number 11 on the charts and, Sugar Free, peaked at number 9. In 2008, Noor put IU in his top 5 dead or alive. He said, he always been one of the top MCs that I've loved from that late 80s, early 90s period. If you look at Jay-Z Reasonable Doubt cover it sort of resembles that IU's album cover, Smooth Assassin, where he had the same outfit on. Grand Daddy IU was one of the most lyrical, wordplay having MCs. Young artists like Murda Mook. They don't understand a lot of their style was fathered by Grand Daddy IU. Grand Daddy IU continued to make his mark in hip-hop, as a rapper and a producer in the 1990s. He also did a lot of ghost writing. He released a sophomore album in 1994 called Lead Pipe. He produced for DOS EFX, Helta Skelta, KRS-One, Ice-T, and others. He frequently would appear at all hip-hop events too. Most recently he was doing work as a media personality and conducted interviews that were popularly promoted on Facebook. Ronnie Turner's cause of death revealed. After Tina Turner and Ike Turner's son, Ronnie Turner, died at the age of 62, his cause of death has been confirmed. Read on for more about the actor's passing. Days after Ronnie Turner's passing, more details about his cause of death have emerged. According to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner's Office, Ronnie, the youngest son of singer Tina Turner and the late Ike Turner, died due to complications of metastatic colon carcinoma. Additionally, other significant conditions listed included aterosclerotic cardiovascular disease, with his manner of death confirmed as natural. On December 9, Ronnie's wife, Afita Turner, shared the heartbreaking news of her husband's passing at the age of 62. In her touching tribute, she called Ronnie, a true angel. I did the best to the end this time I was no, t. Able to save you. She wrote alongside a series of photos of Ronnie with his family. Love you for. 17 years this is very 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 bad and I am very mad. This is a tragedy you with your brother Craig and your father Ike Turner and Aline rest in paradise. So unfair. In 2018. The Turner family experienced another tragic loss after Tina's oldest son, Craig, whose father is the late saxophonist Raymond Hill, died by suicide. Ronnie's representative, Sean Zanotti, also confirmed his passing in a December 11 statement to us, sharing, the family appreciates the outpouring of support and prayers that have been extended in regards to Ronnie from around the world, and respectfully request privacy in this time of great mourning. Though his parents were well known in the musical realm, Ronnie delved into the world of acting, making an appearance in the 1993 film, What's Love Got to Do With It? Shortly after Ronnie's wife shared her tribute, Tina also reflected on her late son's legacy in her own Instagram post. Ronnie, you left the world far too early, the legendary singer wrote alongside a snap of herself with her eyes closed. In sorrow I close my eyes and think of you, my beloved son. Jennifer Coolidge sets the record straight on sleeping with 200 men after American Pie. Jennifer Coolidge was happy to clear the air on a comment she made about sleeping with 200 men after starring in American Pie. Read her message on the exaggeration. One time in an interview, 
Jennifer Coolidge tried her hand at using a hyperbole, claiming she slept with scores of men after playing Stifler's mom in 1999's American Pie. I did say that jokingly, the actress said in a conversation with Ariana Grande for Entertainment Weekly, and, God, you really can't make jokes in our town, because I did make the terrible mistake of saying. Thank God for that movie, I got to sleep with 200 men, or whatever. And look, I would love to say that was true, but I mean, that was sort of an exaggeration. While Jennifer is glad Ariana brought the topic up so she can clear the air, the White Lotus star stands by her claim that the role definitely impacted her dating life. She noted, it did sort of open up the world to a much broader group of handsome men, and younger men. In fact, when asked by Ariana who her best sexual partner was from that chapter, Jennifer declared, it was definitely the youngest fellow. This one guy was particularly young, Jennifer continued. Legal, of course. It was all very legal. The legally blonde actress remembers this one lover as the best, but she also remembers their encounter for a particularly uncomfortable reason. The one moment was a little bit awkward, she explained. Afterwards, the next morning, I told him I needed to get a blow dry. So he was so young, we called his mother to see where I could get a blow dry. It was so weird that happened on the phone. It was very clear that we were in the bed together. Despite the elephant in the room, his mother did provide a good recommendation in the area so, as Jennifer put it, it all worked out. And those are also the most outstanding news that closes the morning of December 14th. Thank you to everyone for listening and following Fidler's Daily News. If you find the video interesting and useful, please click like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the latest gossip news.